Chaos and panic in the city of Ahwaz in southern Iran as an unprecedented scene unfolds during a military parade. Unidentified gunmen opened fire during the parade at the start of Sacred Defense Week. It commemorates Iranians who died during the eight-year war with Iraq in the 1980s. While the wounded were being treated, people were warned to get down. A Revolutionary Guard spokesman says four men dressed in khaki uniforms and riding motorbikes are connected to the al Ahwazia group, which is supported by Saudi Arabia. Some were killed, others captured. When they come to uh, launch a, an attack like this at the IRGC in southwestern Iran, in an Arab populated region, then that means that uh, there has been a well intimidated plan in order to send a very strong message, actually. So there are speculations to believe now, and there are reasons to believe now that uh, uh, this has been an attack masterminded by the United States and the Saudis, especially uh, because the Takfiri uh, Salafi terrorists of Al Ahwazi, supported by the Saudis, uh, you know, have been recognized to, to have been in charge of this attack. The rare attack took place in Khuzestan province, which borders Iraq and has the largest ethnic Arab community in Iran. The province was a major battleground during the Iran-Iraq war. The Ahwaz attack happened as President Hassan Rouhani was delivering a speech at the main anniversary parade in Tehran. He was briefed on the attack and continued his speech, reiterating Iran's position on its defense capabilities. Rouhani said they will continue to increase day by day. And in Ahwaz, the investigation continues into the major breach of security. Dorsa Jabari, Al Jazeera.